don't have to take a lot of credit. Oh, Todd with the punch. Out and ahead of the pack. Capital City, two on one. Devon Dotson lays it in. And you see the zone defensively already by the Warriors. You talk about it. Johnny Davis, the kick out to Shackle. He's the sharpshooter, and he nails the three. Got to know where Shackle is at all times, but Craig Swore coming up with the defense. Yep, yep. In transition, back to Swore, who finishes it up. You're basically just giving away points. You cannot make small mistakes. you got to pay attention to details. Chris yep. Dunn with the steal. Look out. But the, the, the mistake there was jumping to pass. You know, the scouts, etc., are able to go over and watch teams practice on their off days here right behind us on those two courts. Quentin Jackson getting busy. The bucket and the foul. Give and go to Mintz. He is bumped. Do they give him the continuation? Give and go. Mintz to Maker. Maker back to Mintz. And even though it shouldn't have been a continuation, it actually is. As at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, I'll be back on the call with Corey Alexander. It'll be a fun one. Johnson, the offensive rebound and the putback. There's a steal by Quentin Jackson ahead of the pack. Show me something. Because that's part of his development. Regardless as to making shots or not, you've got to stick with it, stay confident, knowing that you're going to make, and more importantly, you're going to take that next. I'm sorry, i got to call you Malik on TV. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that Shrift asked me yesterday was talking about, you know, my, my favorite teammates to hang out with on the road, especially off the court. So it's no surprise that he's doing well, but another guy that really stands out that I like, um, the Simonis kid, man, Lucas Simonis. I think he has a pro game, he's a pro body. He can stretch the floor. Close in, crossover like Malik Rose. We talked about that. Shot clock's at four. Mr. Quinones beats the buzzer. That's what he can do. And have the chance for to play for the 100,000. Hennis with the blow by on Johnny Davis and the foul. Todd, good find inside as Ward finishes it off. You got yelled at, but at the same time, there's nothing you can do about it. Guys were so good, so crafty with small things like that. Saunders crafty with his finish right there. Gets the bucket and the foul. Chest. Well, Saunders coming to the basket, taking the contact. There, it had to be absolute necessary, and I would make sure that you know most of the times if I took a charge, it was on accident. Todd with the two-handed tomahawk, nice touch pass in here. And Craig Sword dropping it off to Isaiah Todd, who drops the hammer. More focused on running concepts, so that's why you know when you see a team just going into a zone, really just needing to talk it up, communicating with one another, it's probably because they don't have a lot of chemistry and that they just need to keep on finding a way. You know, four or five years ago, and then Chris Dunn was, you know, a, a high pick. But you oftentimes get complacent, especially if you're in an organization with a lot of young players and you don't have veterans around you to teach you the ropes. They had a good ball game. Just a three-point lead for the Capital City go-go. Johnson, he's blocked by Chris Dunn. And I'm glad the officials didn't call that a foul. That's where you have to get stronger if you're McCoy Maker. Warriors with a two-on-one break. Santos has Quinones. He takes it himself up and under. <laughs> Anna misses Johnson trying to keep it alive, but it's Davis coming away with it. Tied up at 69. Situation like Chris Dunn is when you watch. Johnny Davis gets the easy one. Miscommunication on the underneath out-of-bounds play by... The Warriors are guys that come off the bench. You're not going to be a starter if you get a call. So you come off the bench here, start getting used to that role. That's what Williams has been doing. It was his final year at Purdue. Sixth man of the year in the Big Ten. Davis on the breakout, and he'll lay it in. Give the Capital City go-go a two-point lead. Spin in the lane. Nice move by Zeke Moore out of SIU Edwardsville. And that's the thing where I'm not sure if this tournament works at the NBA level, but it's great. Oh! Moore tried to punch it, but Maker was there for the denial. You have to be able to make individual plays. Mm. Done. 
Another steal will find Mintz in transition, finishing with the offhand. Okay. Mintz in the lane and one. But it's things like this defending, coming up with the steals, the team defense, another Look steal. That. Look at that. <laughs> another steal. Two on one break. Turnaround jumper, Wesley Saunders makes it go. Ten on the shot clock for the Capital City. Dotson thought about it, now decides to penetrate. Get that out of here. He would lose that game. Anything can happen. And we saw them erase a 20-point deficit today and come back and win the game. Dotson with a three. Now the ball is back in the hands of Dotson, and he loses it. Quinones says, thank you very much. He'll take a three in transition. <laughs> and just like that, the lead is down to three. But you love the way the Warriors have fought and continue to fight. Lester Quinones stepping up in transition. Quinones has had the hot hand, swooping through with the left off the glass, tipped up and in by Johnson. Chris Dunn has been great, but he has six turnovers in this game. Dunn penetrating for the win. Have some. The NBA vet, Chris Dunn out of Providence, gets the game winner.